Sound design. Yeah. All right, so what's the difference between complex and power, or complex and magnitude frequency smoothing? So when it comes to your FIR filter designers, uh, or any type of software, I guess, that's doing frequency smoothing, um, we often have a choice between complex or mag, or complex and power. So why do I keep saying that? Because over here in the import tab, it says complex and power, and under auto mag tab, it says um, complex and magnitude, uh, which Michael John in my interview with him from Eclipse Audio explained to me are actually the same thing, and I think he's going to change these labels later on. So what's happening here? How do we make a choice between these? Well, basically, what I learned from Michael in our interview is that if the phase is changing quite dramatically across frequency, then we can have uh, cancellations and other problems. And he talks about this lowering um, power in the high frequencies. And when I switch back and forth here, I can see that happening down, I can see weird things happening here in the uh, low end. Let me adjust this a little bit. We can see weird things happening here in the low end, uh, but not the high end. And if I show you the phase, I think it will reveal why that is. So uh, here the phase is fairly um, less chaotic, I'll just say. Let me make sure I don't have anything else on. Oh yeah, got to turn these off. Um, yeah, but then once we get to these places where the phase is kind of making some something crazy happen here, which is uh, potentially an artifact of the measurement system itself, or it maybe happening in the room, I don't know. Um, but due to this um, phase jumping around here and being kind of squirrely, then when I switch to complex, and it takes the phase into account during this smoothing process, then we kind of get these weird artifacts. So depending on, I guess, the smoothing setting here, uh, and how messy the phase is, we might want to choose magnitude smoothing instead, or power smoothing instead, and that's basically going to ignore the phase measurement uh, and only look at a decibel average for its frequency smoothing. So far, everything that I've done with this in the field, I've always ended up using power smoothing because anytime I turn on complex and there's, you know, I always have some sort of weird phase thing in the room. I never get a super clean phase trace that allows me to use the complex smoothing. So um, I'm curious if you guys are using this in the field, are you using complex or magnitude, and let me know what your results are. Thanks. Sound design. Yeah.